as we discussed in the last video the the drawbacks of the rutherford's model the the so called drawbacks okay the drawbacks that were pointed out were 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 sought to be removed by they were sought to be removed by niels bohr okay he was he was a uh, niels bohr he was from denmark and was following the 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 atomic model of thomson as well as the atomic model of of rutherford and he went first to thomson thomson being senior and talked to him regarding what rutherford had to say and thomson at the best was furious with rutherford to have contradicted him and he shared his thoughts with niels bohr niels bohr pointed out to the experimental backing of the rutherford's model about which thomson had nothing to say okay so but 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 he pointed out the drawbacks that that his model was facing right okay little telling that at least it was an experimental basis by which he reported the model rutherford model and and thomson kind of just just reproduced it from his imagination right still he went to rutherford and and those three drawbacks that we just saw right the 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 three drawbacks that first of all all uh, electrons should spiral down spiral to nucleus the second that that the the they could be any size of the atom and if there could be any size then then there should not be a discrete frequency so distribution discrete discrete emission and emission and absorption spectrum absorption spectrum we we'll go into to to details of each of them so so these three things were actually not explained by him and he had a task at hand uh, the fellow called niels bohr so so he went and sat in his lab and looked through all his results saw the experiment fresh was pretty convinced with what he had to say but but there were certain there were certain things that led niels bohr to the correct path okay and so 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 there were some certain developments developments that <clears throat> leading to bohr's model bohr's model of atom okay now each of these things that i am going to tell you now constitute a complete chapter still i'll try to condense it into 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 the time that we have with us not going into into so much of of the of the elaborate nature that they have when we are doing the chapter but still i'll try to try to get some sense out of it right the first thing that was there was that the matter the the, the radiation okay the, the 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 radiation had a dual nature so so dual nature of of radiation okay let me go back a little on this in newton's time in newton's time the and and newton's did a lot of work on optics so in, in newton's time the 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 light was considered as a particle light considered a a particle considered a, a particle okay it was considered a particle 
Fine. Here the light was considered a particle. Then came the fellow called Maxwell. Okay. Or oh, Maxwell. The fellow called Maxwell. If you want to, to go into the depth of the electromagnetic waves, you should see the video on electromagnetic waves for class 12. A very innocent question put by Maxwell, but but that would require the concept of capacitor and Ampere's law. So, so I'm not going into that, which are two 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 different chapters altogether in class 12. A simple question by this this fellow led to the led to the advent of a wave that would travel in vacuum, and that was called the advent of electromagnetic wave okay now it was seen that electromagnetic wave travels at the speed of light travels at the speed of light it travels at the speed of light it was the advent of emw and it was found that somehow the electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light these waves travel at the speed of light. Now, now the question was why at the speed of light? What do have what do they have common with the speed of light? Why should they seek the speed of light, which is, is absolutely kind of in a class of its own, right? Light is is, is light, right? <clears throat> now it was later known that light is nothing but an electromagnetic wave. Now that led to the fusion of electricity, electricity that was already related with magnetism, okay, that was already related with magnetism, that you have studied, that, that a current carrying wire, if you, if you uh, try to arrange iron filings around it, it, it kind of makes a circular pattern, that we know magnetism became related with electricity by the thing called emi the 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 okay so so let me put a star this is the star actually signifies what it is called faraday's faraday's law of electromagnetic induction of electromagnetic induction the thing that I that, that I briefly told you in the last video that that a changing magnetic field had the capacity to create an electric field and hence a hence a current, right? And and together they led to to electromagnetic waves and and light was one such electromagnetic wave. So electricity, magnetism and optics, they actually kind of became one, okay? So, so this Newton's theory that this was a particle got a severe bashing and in the, in the, in the chapter related with optics you would see that had it not been the wave nature of the particle, we would not have been able to, to experience or see a thing called called interference so 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 due to wave nature of light due to the wave nature of light we we saw we saw a phenomena called interference interference now what is an interference if you have a if you have two coherent sources, okay, two sources which kind of vibrate like one, okay, and they are allowed to overlap, okay. Let's try to assume, assume you have a, you have a room, you have a room, and, and you have two light sources, okay. So so say two light sources, a light source here and a light source here. If if if, if you maybe light one, then 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 you. See that your room gets lighter 
okay yeah so 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 it has it has light 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 all over on the walls right everywhere you light the other source the 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 intensity of the light becomes twice right i, I mean to say that the room room looks twice brighter all right the brightness becomes twice that's why maybe you use more number of lights if you want more more a uh, 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 brighter room right now what happens if they are coherent sources you would observe that that in this room in the in this room which extends like this okay so so a room which is something like that what happens is 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 you will find a light and a dark band okay this is a light band then there'll be a dark band followed by that there is a li light band and the intensity of this will become 4i when when there were two incoherent sources you just lighted two bulbs or two 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 fluorescent lights this this would have everywhere you would have observed two i not okay here the 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 streak that is lighted that will be 4 i not and the streak that is not lighted that will be the absolutely zero so this there is a redistribution of energy and this happens due to the overlapping of the of the waves right so so it, it, it is as if two waves overlap so so let us say say a wave is there okay there is another source this also travels to this point say they travel to the to to this point and what happens if if the trough if, if the crest of this kind of superimposes with the crest of this you understand what is happening we have a sinusoidal wave okay now if there are two waves we say they superimpose if there is another wave then they'll superimpose at every point of time the total displacement from the center will be the resultant of the two displacements if you if you if you set two waves in the same medium with the same frequency right then then this will happen now what happens if there are two waves in the same medium the resultant is that so so suppose the 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 crest of this the highest point is called the crest that meets with the crest of the other wave this is called amplitude a if the crest falls with the crest so 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 there is another wave which is exactly like this and they superimpose okay they are are together traveling in the same medium then what happens the resultant wave that you get the 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 resultant that you get due to both of them that will have a a a that will have Maybe maybe I'll erase this. That will have that will have uh, that will have an amplitude an an amplitude that is twice the amplitude of the individual waves, and you'll soon see. that that intensity is directly proportional to amplitude square so so here that the intensity i not was i not okay here it was i not and they summed and an individual was i not together it became the amplitude became twice so the intensity becomes 2a whole square right this this is instead of a it has become 2a so that's why intensity here becomes 4i not okay but mind it there is a redistribution of energy some 2i not has vanished from this dark patch and it has got 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 onto that 2i not another 2i not and that's why this becomes 4i not while this becomes zero so instead of a uniform distribution you will have patches okay a uh, a uh, a uh, very bright patch of of four, four times the intensity and then a dark one and then a bright one and then a dark one whenever that is happening that is called an interference and whenever there is an interference you can be pretty sure that whatever is is interfering 
is, is superimposing is of wave nature. Okay? So inevitably, interference is used as a measure of the wave nature of anything. So either it will be having an interference due to the wave nature or it may be having diffraction. Okay? It may be having a diffraction. Diffraction is nothing but interference due to a large number of sources. Okay? So, so consider it nothing but a diffraction. Okay? And when you go by the wave nature of light, then only you will be able to prove a famous law of refraction that you call 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 Snell's law. Okay? It can be only proved by by the wave nature of light and secondly the law of refraction the law of refraction why light obliquely incident on a surface undergoes a refraction at all why should it bend towards the normal towards the normal when going from a rarer to a denser media and and away from the normal when going from a denser to a rarer medium that whole explanation cannot be done by the by the by the by the particle nature of light this is only possible by the wave nature of light right also also the very fact that that light changes speed as it changes media light changes speed as it goes from one medium to another as it goes from from one medium to another earlier in the time of newton it was thought that light does not change speed now now later i i'll be able to show you that if if light does not change speed then it will not refract it will not change its direction okay and if it does not change its direction, then, then this also won't hold. Okay? This won't hold. So the whole gamut of this, this light properties, they, they actually derive from the wave nature of light. So we saw that we were, we were previously with, with, the, with, the, with the particle nature of light. And then we came to the wave nature of light okay wave nature and and we'll see in the next or next to next video that that when it was when light started interacting with matter matter we had to swing back to the particle nature of light to explain certain phenomena which einstein did very successfully and got a nobel prize for that okay so, so it keeps on. So, so, so from particle to it swung to wave. So many things like these were explained by by the phenomena of wave. And then, when when one of the things came came to light, the the photoelectric effect, we had to swing back to the particle nature of light. So, so what 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 actually helped him was this dual nature of radiation. That's why I'm calling it dual nature. The the particle as well as the wave. This is called called wave particle duality of light right this is called the dual nature of light it seems to be behaving behaving like a wave at one time and and like a particle at some other time so dual nature of light okay Now then there were experimental results relating to the spectra. So the second thing that helped him was experimental, experimental results relating to the spectra, relating to the spectra, to the, to the atomic spectra, right? actually the atomic spectra 
about which I, I, I talked about briefly earlier and, and we'll go in detail now about the atomic spectra. That it was discrete, okay? And, and, and there was, uh, there was, uh, so, so experimental results relating to the atomic spectra, uh, which could be explained, which could be explained only by, which could be explained only by, by the by the quantized electronic energy levels by the quantized electronic energy levels energy levels in an atom we'll understand what what quantized means and this is very important that the energy levels are quantized okay quantized quanta actually means a packet okay quanta implies a, a packet okay so so when you say something is quantized say so you go to a shop and and and, and you get sugar in packets that are packed with 0.5 kg of sugar okay so so what is the amount of sugar that you can pick you can you can only pick 0.5 m kg of sugar so even if you want say say 100 grams that is 0.1 kg of sugar you will have to pick 0.5 at least right so there is no continuous variation so what happens it jumps right so 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 from zero it will it will jump to 0.5 correct and from there it will jump to 1.0 from there it will jump to 1.5 understand there are no levels in between you move in packets okay so these two things help them explain the nature of of, of the atom and explain and, and throw light on what happened to the to the wave nature of the you know, what what happened to the Rutherford's uh, at atomic model, right? Okay, so that we do next. <clears throat>